Okay. So we established that the system is not your friend and you got to stop using the calculator. Because the calculator was introduced early, most people don't know how to do multiplication division. So what we have to do is go back to the basics. And the basics is the real number set. Everybody's dealt with it. I think they introduced it in grade 6 or 7 and work with it in grade 8 and 9. And what happens is they don't teach it properly. And by the time you graduate, by the time most people graduate, they have no idea how important the real number set is. How the number system is broken down. The number system that you deal with in high school. One thing to consider is, or one thing you should know is, the real number set is just one reality. There are other number sets out there. You just don't deal with them until you go to college or university. So this is the basics. The real number set is the basics, the core of everything you need to learn about mathematics, everything you need to know about mathematics. So we're going to go back to the real number set. The beautiful box that they showed you and uh, they would ask you questions like which number set, uh, which number group does this belong to? Natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, blah, blah, blah. What we're going to do is look at each little section uh, separately and make sure you understand how it's broken up. I'm back. Okay, we're here, Paul. We're here to talk about the real number set, okay? First thing you gotta do is you gotta make the real number set. Uh, so we can take a look at it and look at different sections and understand what it's about. So, I have a clean wall over there, so I'm gonna go at it. I got some tools here. Got a measuring tape, got my ruler, and <laughs> really big junk, huge, uh, different colors. And uh, what else do we need? What else do we need? Well, this might take a while, so I got music. Okay, I'm gonna go at it. I'm gonna let the tape run, and I guess we'll see what it's like. Hopefully, you can create this uh, on a piece of paper and figure out what it's about. than I thought. Okay, end of music. Let's talk about this. I got a little bench. The 
number you see there is called natural numbers. Those are the first number set that us as human beings really grasp. Basically, it was counting from one all the way up as whole numbers, basically going one, two, three, four, dot, 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 until infinity. But we had no concept of what infinity was uh, thousands of years ago, hundreds of years ago. Okay. The boundary between the natural numbers right there, going up to the whole numbers, that was the discovery of the number zero. But it wasn't really discovered because zero existed before. It was basically us getting smart enough to comprehend what zero meant. And we still don't comprehend it actually. It was just finding something that didn't work out according to the rules that we knew before. So just imagine, thousands of years ago, there's a whole bunch of people sitting there uh, in a village, okay? Um, assume that uh, these people were farmers or sheep herders. Let's talk about sheep herding. Let's say they were sheep herders. Now these people sitting at the natural number set, just imagine them sitting in a bar talking together, okay? What would, they what would, what would sheep farmers be talking about? They are talking about sheep, of course. So they sit around and, you know, one guy, John, asks Fred, Fred, how many sheep do you have? Fred goes, two sheep. Fred asks John, how many sheep do you have? John goes, oh, I'm richer than you, I have five sheep. You know, Alfred sits over down, uh, and you know, they ask Alfred how many sheep he has. He goes, I got ah, 10 sheep, man, I'm the richest sheep herder there is. Now some Joe Blow walks through the door, okay, comes and sits down at the table. Now these guys want to size this guy out, right? And they go, hey, dude, uh, how many sheep do you have? And this guy goes, zero. Now, just imagine if you're living in a village and everybody's a sheep herder. And some dude walks in and goes, I don't have any sheep, zero. Now, that's outside of the reality they would have been able to comprehend. If this guy had no sheep, then how did he take care of his family? How did he feed himself? Uh, what in the world did he do if, if he didn't have any sheep? So that was a discovery or us being able to comprehend that there was something outside the reality that we knew moving from the natural numbers one two three to the whole number set or the whole uh to the whole numbers which is zero one two three etc all the way up okay so the introduction of zero for us being able to comprehend or us knowing that there was such a thing as zero uh, was a great breakthrough. It was huge, humongous. Even Einstein's problem, uh, special relativity, relativity, uh, zero was one of the biggest issues still facing mathematics. We cannot uh, properly deal with zero. So we're still stuck partially between this boundary where we can't deal with it. The reason being is, as far as you're concerned, in high school, you cannot divide by zero. Because if you divide by zero, you get infinity. And we cannot grasp what infinity means, okay? So zero is one end, one end of the spectrum. Actually, it's a pivot. You got infinity on one side, and you got negative infinity on the other side. If you divide by zero, you get both. I'll talk about these later, okay?